We chose Bigger Hearts for His Glory by Heart of Dakota for our second grade curriculum. This is the teacher's guide. One of the main reasons why we love Heart of Dakota is because they use a lot of Charlotte Mason's ideas, which include short lessons, living books, poetry, music, art, nature, narration, copywork, dictation, and memorization. Inside the guide, everything is planned out for you. You have history, poetry, Bible study, vocabulary, music, language arts, story time, math, reading, and science. Sometimes you will do geography or a history activity, a timeline, art. So this is the only square that will change from day to day. It's so simple to use because it tells you exactly what book to read from and what pages. Inside their catalog, it breaks down the packages so you know exactly what to order and what you will be needing for that year. So you have the Bigger Hearts for His Glory guide, and then you have history. For history, you will be using a first book in American history, Stories of Great Americans, and the story of the Wright brothers and their sister and also Journeys in Time. These are the four history books to use for the whole year. They all have pictures. The pictures in here are in black and white, but the stories are great. It doesn't really matter. This is black and white also. This is the only one that has color pictures on every page. Then you have science. You have one small square seashore, science in colonial America, one small square woods. John Audubon, a pioneer sampler, and Thomas A. Edison, young inventor. And these are the books right here. The pictures in these are in color. And this is our nature journal from Memoria Press. It has space to draw a picture and for them to write something about their picture. Next they have their reading programs. And you can choose, if your child's an emerging reader, then you will choose this set here. Or if you have a child who's independently reading, then you choose Draw into the Heart of Reading. 
This is the Drawing to the Heart of Reading program. We have not used this yet. My son used the Emerging Reader sets, but we will be using this next year. This is the Emerging Reader set. So he was able to read all these books on his own. I was there with him just in case he did need some guidance or a little bit of help. But for the most part, he did a great job. Last year he was still doing phonics program. Next you have handwriting and these are the two options that you have to choose from. We went with cheerful cursive. So this was my son's first year doing cursive. These are the characters that will show up throughout the pages. And they are here to help the kids do their cursive strokes. It starts off with lowercase letters. But once they are done with all the lowercase letters, then they move on to capital letters. There's lots of pages for practice. Next we have English, and this is by Ron and Staff, Preparing to Build. So you have the option of buying the teacher's manual or just the student's book. I always like having teacher's manuals because there's always extra tips and ideas on how to teach a lesson that maybe you forget or that you just haven't thought of. It does tell you answers at the bottom or on the sides, and the white part is the exact pages that you will see in the student's book. I was very happy with these. My son enjoyed doing them, doing his work, and we are going to continue using Rod and Staff for English every year. He used a separate notebook to write down his answers or his sentences, all his work, so you do not write on the actual book itself. Next is hints and devotional. So just like in the other Heart of Dakota guides, you will need a Bible. You choose your own Bible that you want to use. This is my son's Bible. And this is the little devotional. There's no pictures. This is the hymns book, and it's from Focus on the Family, but it's also part of the Heart of Dakota Publishing. This was one of our favorite things to do during our school day. It starts before introducing a hymn, it tells you the backstory about the author who wrote it and a little bit about their lives. And then it gives you the hymn. And that is how it is for every single hymn in the book. 
It also has a CD with all the songs. Next, they have their math programs. They use Singapore math. You can choose one of these options or you can choose to use a different math program. We have been doing a different math curriculum so far. Here are their packages for story time. And again, they have a classic set. They have a boy interest set and a girl's interest set. So far, we have been purchasing both the classic set and the boy interest set because we can never decide on just one. There's always good books on each one of them, so we ended up, uh, end up buying both. This is the classic set. We have Ben and Me, Come On Sea Biscuit, Farmer Boy, Rabbit Hill, Encyclopedia Brown, The Balloon Boy of San Francisco, Homer Price, Misty of, I don't know how to pronounce that, and more stories from Grandma's Attic. For the boys' interest set, you have George Rogers Clark, Snow Treasure, Justin Morgan Had a Horse, The Indian in the Cupboard, Scripture Sleuth, Balto, By the Great Horn Spoon, Rascal, and The Whipping Boy. We also purchased Stuart Little. Stuart Little is one of the books in the girls' packages, but I knew that my son would enjoy this book so much, so we also ended up purchasing this one. So Bigger Hearts for His Glory also has an extension package. If you have older children and you want to use the same guide, then you would purchase the extension package to use with older children. These are all the books that you will be getting. If you purchase the complete package for Bigger Hearts for His Glory, minus the math, and you don't have to buy the two sets of Storytime Read Alouds, you can only purchase one set if you'd like.